I'm Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist. My goal in making this video was to share with you what you might not know about vitamin supplements in the area of natural versus synthetic and to touch on the subject of how vitamins are produced. Keeping it short and to the point was no easy task. What we call vitamin A is actually a group of compounds, some called retinoids and others called carotenoids. Carotenoids are known as pro-vitamin A because they can be converted into vitamin A. However, conversion of carotene to retinol varies from person to person and bioavailability of carotene in food also varies. Only the carotenoids alpha-carotene, beta-carotene, gamma carotene and beta cryptoxanthin can function as pro vitamin A. Because vitamin A is fat soluble, a low fat diet can result in poor absorption of vitamin A. Fats increase the uptake of both carotenoids and retinoids. A zinc deficiency can impair absorption, transport and metabolism of vitamin A because zinc is essential for the synthesis of vitamin A transport proteins and as the cofactor in conversion of retinol. Retinol palmitate is the synthetically manufactured form of the vitamin. It can usually be converted into retinol and ultimately to retinoic acid. However, acetone and other unhealthy chemicals are used in the process of making it. Taking carotenoid supplements is the preferred form because the body will only convert them to retinoids as needed. However, taking retinoids in excess can be very dangerous because acute retinol toxicity could occur. Vitamin B1 supplements can be made in three different ways. Making synthetic vitamin B1 looks something like this. Hydrochloric acid is added to coal tar then fermentation, heating, cooling, and other steps are completed until the synthetic vitamin is created. It has a similar molecular structure but is not the same as the naturally occurring vitamin. This is currently the least expensive way to make the vitamin. Food extracted vitamin B1 is made in a logical and natural way. The plant containing the vitamin is harvested, cleaned, and then put into a vat of water. After the vitamin has moved into the water, the fluid is filtered and the fiber is removed. The plant extract will contain the nutrients found in the original plant. This is the most expensive way to obtain the vitamin and also the form that our body uses best. Another way so-called natural vitamins are created is by growing yeast and then feeding the yeast synthetic vitamins. The yeast is then harvested and made into vitamin supplements. The theory is that the yeast will contain the vitamin it has been fed in a whole food complex. However, I tested this theory on myself. Every day for one year I consumed a B complex containing yeast that had been fed the synthetic form of vitamin B12 called cyanocobalamin. Then I took a test to see my B12 status. My white blood cells showed a deficiency of vitamin B12. I am not sold on this method of vitamin production. Several biotechnological processes have been developed for manufacturing riboflavin. Different microorganisms are used including filamentous fungi and bacteria. The bacteria Bacillus subtilis has been genetically modified to increase its production of riboflavin and also to make it resistant to the antibiotic ampicillin. This form of manufactured riboflavin made from GMO bacteria treated with an antibiotic is now used for both animal feed and human food fortification. Natural food extracted B2 is obviously the best choice with this vitamin. Nicotinic acid, the synthetic form of niacin, is created using coal tar, ammonia, and formaldehyde. It is less absorbable and has a greater risk of side effects than the natural form of the vitamin. However, 
Nicotinic acid has been used for over 50 years to reduce the bad cholesterol and increase the good cholesterol. It has also been used to reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. Niaspan, available only by prescription, is an extended release form of nicotinic acid. It has a film coating that delays the release over a period of 8 to 12 hours. This can reduce the side effect of flushing, but it increases the risk of liver toxicity. Niacinamide, the flush-free form of niacin found in food, does not dramatically reduce the bad cholesterol or raise the good cholesterol, but can be synthesized in the human body from the amino acid tryptophan. Vitamin B6 is also required for the conversion of tryptophan to niacin, so low vitamin B6 status will impair this conversion. Niacin can also be extracted from plants for making supplements. Synthetic pantothenic acid is made with formaldehyde and isobutyryl aldehyde to form a calcium or sodium salt. Panthenol is the alcohol analog and acts as a provitamin for B5. I don't recommend consuming any other form but food extracted B5. Pantothenic acid derives its name from the Greek word pantothean, meaning from everywhere. Small amounts of pantothenic acid are found in almost every kind of food. Synthetic vitamin B6, pyridoxine hydrochloride, is made from petroleum esters, hydrochloric acid, and formaldehyde. It may actually inhibit the action of natural B6 in the body. It also has side effects not normally found with natural food sources of this vitamin. Food extracted B6 is certainly best. Pyridoxal phosphate, also known as PLP, is the biologically acted form of B6. PLP is needed for almost all amino acid metabolism inside of our body, from synthesis to breakdown. The process for making synthetic biotin was developed in the 1940s and uses fumaric acid as a starting material. Fumaric acid may be toxic with long-term use. In humans, healthy intestinal bacteria produces biotin in excess of the body's daily requirements. However, healthy intestinal bacteria is becoming rare as antibiotic use is on the rise. Biotin is available in a wide range of food sources, but few are particularly rich sources. Folic acid is synthetically produced and needs to be converted to folate in order to be useful. People with the MTHFR677 genetic mutation have trouble making the conversion to make folic acid usable. If you have this mutation and supplement your diet with folic acid, you are doing yourself a disservice. Unmetabolized folic acid can depress the immune system and lead to cancer or other kinds of disease that thrive in a body with a weak immune system. There are also many manufactured forms of folate on the market. Some are good and some are not. They are prescribed for raising folate levels in people with the MTHFR677 mutation. Methylfolate is one of the better manufactured supplements for people with this mutation. But good old-fashioned food extracted folate is the best form by far. Leafy green vegetables are loaded with folate. Vitamin B12 refers to a group of compounds called cobalamins. Natural B12 is created by microorganisms like the bacteria that grow in soil and are present in the intestines. People with low stomach acid may have difficulty absorbing B12 from animal food because it comes bound to protein. Hydrochloric acid is needed in order to be able to remove the B12 from the protein. In general, the older a person gets, the lower the hydrochloric acid levels tend to be. Intrinsic factor is an acid secretion that is also needed to make use of the B12 found in food. Cyanocobalamin is manufactured using the mineral cobalt and the toxin cyanide. They are fermented to make cyanocobalamin. 
people with the MTHFR677 mutation, which is about one out of every five people, have great difficulty using this unmethylated form. What's even worse, overuse can cause cyanide buildup and become dangerous. Hydroxycobalamin is not a form found in the human body, but may be converted in the body to a useful form of B12. This form is not yet methylated and needs to be in order to be useful. Methylcobalamin is the type of B12 found in the human body and can be used to prevent or treat vitamin B12 deficiencies. Methylcobalamin is produced by certain bacteria or manufactured in a laboratory. This is the best human active form to use as a supplement because it is already methylated. Synthetic choline, called choline chloride or choline bitartrate, is made using ammonia, ethylene, and hydrochloric acid or tartaric acid. Natural choline can be extracted from sunflower seeds and is found in lecithin. Natural vitamin C is found in nature in combination with bioflavonoids and phytonutrients that are important in its absorption and use. Synthetic vitamin C, called ascorbic acid, is isolated from genetically modified corn that has been hydrogenated and processed with acetone. It does not include the bioflavonoids and phytonutrients that help it work. Good sources for supplemental vitamin C include camu camu, amla berry, and acerola cherry. Good food sources of vitamin C include almost all fruits and vegetables when consumed raw. The human body produces vitamin D3 when exposed to the sun. D3 is the most effective form of the vitamin. Mushrooms produce the inferior form called D2. Synthetic vitamin D2 is made using a type of plant sterol derived from fungal cell membranes. To make D3 supplements, the waxy secretion from sheepskin called lanolin is processed. If you decide to supplement with vitamin D, I suggest lichen extracted D3. Lichens produce the same D3 that comes from human skin when exposed to the sun. Vitamin E is made up of eight different compounds, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta tocopherol, and alpha, beta, gamma, and delta tocotrienol. In synthetic vitamin E, they are only reproducing one part called DL-alpha tocopherol, this analog is created using refined oils and nasty chemicals. It is not easily absorbed and is quickly excreted like an unknown chemical. Rice bran and annatto are excellent natural sources of the entire vitamin E complex. The synthetic form of vitamin K, known as menadione, comes from coal tar derivatives and genetically modified and hydrogenated soybean oil. They use hydrochloric acid and nickel in its production. It can damage the immune system, among other unwanted side effects. In the United States, menadione supplements have been banned by the FDA because of their toxicity. Natural vitamin K1 is readily available in dark green leafy vegetables. Vitamin K2 is found in fermented food, such as sauerkraut. Food extracted vitamin K is certainly best. Shockingly, the materials used to make synthetic vitamins range from coal tar to petroleum with a long list of chemicals that one would never think of putting inside their bodies. Synthetic vitamins are made using chemical manipulations that duplicate the structure of the isolated vitamins. Or even worse, some vitamins are made using genetically altered bacteria because GMO bacteria can be made to produce vitamins. Unfortunately, the processes used to make synthetic vitamin supplements are not made available to the public. If they were, I'm sure it would reduce the sale of synthetic vitamins and people would switch to food extracted vitamins.